boy was I wrong about this gun and how ridiculously overpowered it can be. I have been looking at my build all wrong. Let's talk about it. Before we go any further into the video, DPJ wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and he's giving away Ultimate Descendants every week. Unlike most people, his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos. The more he sees of you, the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week. And also go join the Discord, it's linked below and help him build his amazing First Descendant army. So if you didn't know, I have bought and paid for every single Descendant, leveled them all up to level 40 at least once and a couple of them multiple times and obviously Val be my main eight different times. So a lot of my time has gone into farming and getting enough gold and Kaipa to enhance things. I haven't really had much chance to do end game stuff. There's then a few of the hard mode void intercept missions, but I haven't gone around and farmed all the perfect mods and everything. Whatever mods I was getting and accruing, I was just using. I never went to look for anything. I found out through comments, people telling me to try this mod, try that mod. And when I was going through my comments thinking, mm, what can I do? I found loads of different mods that I didn't have and I thought let me get them and try them and boy am I happy that I did because now I can hit for 417,000 damage on a crit 220,000 ish on a precision and a lot more damage to boot to the body white and yellow so god damn this is incredible I'm way stronger than my 600,000 DPS one. My 600,000 DPS was doing about 101,000 to a critical. And a, and this is doing about four times as much. Four and a little bit, actually, to be fair. So, god damn it. Incredible. I'm so blown away by this. I've literally just finished making it. And I tried it. And I was like, yep, need to make a video. So, here is my Thunder Cage and all of the sockets I have placed onto it. And this is another big part of farming for me. And having to spend so much time doing it to get this leveled up. And I have put money and spent on every single slot. That is my journey. It's not going to be typical of everyone's experience, but this is what it requires for you to get this build. And if we look at it bare bones, you can see 38,000 on a precision and about 68,000 on a critical. So, you know, a pretty goddamn huge change in DPS when you go to our setup. And let's talk about that setup. Let's do some damage. Um, I just love the gun. I can't stop firing at it. When it comes to DPS number over here, this is 495,000. My other one was 639,000, I think. And this does four times as much damage on critical than it did for the 600k one. So this number, as I said in an earlier video, is completely bogus. Just ignore it. It doesn't mean anything. It's just that a lot of people were moaning at me when I was making those videos to be like, oh, mine's 600k DPS. So I thought, you know, I'm going to make a 600k DPS video. And God, did I waste so much time doing that when I could have been building something like this. So let's look at the mods. So typically, rifling, reinforcement, and action and reaction are going to be on a lot of your weapons. They increase the firearm attack, which is your base damage boost. You know, big, huge damage increase just off firearm attack. The action and reaction gives you recoil plus 20% as well, but everything here is going to balance it out. And then the other main source of damage comes from the electric enhancement, which we'll talk about in a second. However, you need crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and you start off with concentration priority, which is 120% increase of damage to critical hit spots. And you get a reload time modifier as well, which again balances out. Better insight and better concentration gives you crit hit rate of 39% and crit hit damage of 74.8%. So these are also very typical on most guns that you get. Now, the new mods for me are all on this top line. Fire rate concentration. Fire rate plus 20%. So, you know, more bullets coming out quicker. But you also get that critical hit damage of 6.5%. This is a very, very good mod to have. And in a little while, I'll show you where to get it. Insight focus. Critical hit rate of 14.5% and critical hit damage of 6.5%. So you can see more rates and more damage for crit hit spots are just piling up on top of each other. And on top of that as well, we're going to talk about Valby because she just makes it even better. Then we go to Focus Fire. Another one I didn't have or I might have had it but never looked at it. Weak point damage plus 20% and firearm critical hit damage plus 6.5%. Now, this isn't really made for a Colossi, so the weak point damage isn't as important, but it does help. But I went to put this on for the critical hit damage. And then, concentrate, support, ammo. Rounds per magazine plus 30%. More bullets coming out your gun. 
less reloading. And then on top of that, firearm critical hit damage of 6.5%. So your base kind of like big boost to damage comes from rifling reinforcement and action and reaction and also electric enhancement. And then everything else here helps with every other aspect of the gun, but particularly crit hit damage and chance. Now, electric enhancement also increases your firearm attack. It uses your firearm attack. It takes 30% of that and adds it on as elemental damage. This can be electric enhancement. It can be fire. It can be toxic. It can be chill. Anything you want it to be. I just chose electric because it's the same module slot and I did not want to have to get another catalyst buy another catalyst just to change it but it works regardless of the element type so this damage output now is just phenomenal and i honestly can't think from the mods that i've seen any other way of making this better i think this is like the best it can possibly be but then you need good rolls on the gun as you can see here i've got weak point damage at 9.9 percent Again, I don't think weak point damage is necessarily needed, but I didn't want to waste any more materials and it does add to the gun. I have toxic attack, so I'm doing electric attack from the module and also toxic attack for a gold 1162. I need to get everything here gold, but it costs way too much materials. But one thing I'm happy about is the firearm critical hit damage in gold, 36.3% now. I haven't really been watching any anyone's videos or anything, but for me, that's the highest I've ever seen critical hit damage go on a roll on a weapon. And then I got a firearm attack of 11.4%. I really wish I could get that gold because I know it can go over 12%. I think if I was to get like the perfect rolls here on the intrinsic perks, I could probably be hitting about 450,000 on that crit, maybe even a little bit more. So those are also very important if you do wish to re-roll them. However, I would just make sure you've got at least one elemental attack, one critical hit damage, one firearm attack. And then the fourth one, take weak point damage if you get it, or just pick something that you like. So when you put your unique ability level up to level four, you'll get a huge increase to reload time modifier, and you'll get a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Very well worth infusing other Thunder Cages into your main one. And then you can be rocking some serious damage. But let's talk about Valby as well, because Valby makes it even better. If you did not know, one of the transcendent mods for Valby is Supply Moisture. While on water, increases skill crit hit rates, skill duration and firearm attribute trigger rate these are great perks for her builds but what it doesn't tell you is also on the weapon you get firearm critical hit rate increase of 20 percent and it's not 20 percent of your base added on so like an extra like three or four percent it's just a flat 20 percent added on while you're standing on water so you can see the difference from when i'm shooting at this guy here you know i'm getting like a couple of four hundred thousands to now if i throw out some water and stand on it you can see that the crits are just coming in left, right, and center. And often more precision as well. I don't know whether that's the same. I don't know whether that's got anything to do with the mod, but it feels like I get more precisions when I'm standing in water. So the amount of damage that I'm putting out now is absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Now, this isn't built for Colossi, so I'm not going to go and fight a Colossi like I usually do. But I've just beat Swamp Walker fairly easily. But instead, I want to use the time of this video to show you where to get these mods that i didn't have because you may not have them as well so fire rate concentration for general rounds if you go and have a look at it you can get it from the intercept battle for devourer on hard but you can also go to white knight gulch and do the bio lab mission on either normal or hard i'm assuming hard will have more percentage chance of it dropping but you can get it from a whole bunch of different places on white knight gulch you know a lot of the mission monsters and a lot of the missions will also be able to drop it but i'm fairly certain i got mine from this mission which is over here in the hatchery and as you can see over there, we've got a whole bunch of different things that you can get, but there's a 30% chance of fire rate concentration. So definitely a good way to get this mod. Yes, it says 20 minutes or less there for Biolab, but with a good team and you know what you're doing, it shouldn't probably take you more than 10 minutes. So it's going to be fairly easy to farm. That is why Night Gulch in a hatchery. So insight focus for general rounds is from the Volgus blockade in Hagios. And again, I know I, I know I did this, which is down here. And as you can see, it's a, also a 30% chance, but this one's a lot quicker. It's 10 minutes or less. So this one is definitely going to be a lot easier and faster and more efficient to farm. On normal, it will probably be lower, but for hard, it's 30% and it's in the dune base area of Hagios. So for focus fire, 
It is located in sterile land, and I'm sure a lot of people will probably already had this. I may have already had it, but I just never looked at it or used it. So sterile land, the repository, Vulgus Strategic Outpost, which is up here. This is one of those ones where when you complete it, you have to wait five minutes for another go. Focus Fire is a 30% drop rate but there's also the amorphous material patterns there's the shape stabilizer form twos and more chances of getting those two things as well so this is just a good farm and grind anyway but to get focus fire this is what you need to do is sterile land repository over here the little blue diamond the zone recon mission now for concentrate support ammo i'm not even sure where i got it from the fortress void fragment missions you know it doesn't actually list it as a specific drop but it does lead you to there. It doesn't highlight anything. So I'm assuming they just mean the void missions to get fragments and stuff of that nature. The ones you do to get the reactors. I can't be sure that that is where to get it because it doesn't actually list it on the rewards. But you can get it from a lot of the mission monsters within Fortress. So I think I must have just got mine randomly when I was going through farming some other stuff. And you can see it's all there, all different types of mission monsters. So, you know, you can go to this one here, Heart of the Fortress, which is up here. And you can get it dropping from these enemies here and probably every single mission. So find a mission that's like short in time for you. One that you know is like this one here, five minutes or less. You're probably going to have a chance of getting it to drop fairly often. And that's it. That's the build. And that is where you, where I got all the extra things that I just didn't think about using until someone told me in my comments. So thank you to that person. I appreciate you a lot. And I hope this helps the rest of you guys get a super powerful Thunder Cage. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.